Good. I think we're about done with his first session. Collar's on. Good. Good boy. And we can walk around him. Anytime he moves, we're going to tap that collar again just to remind him to stand still. Good. Then we're going to release him. Okay. Throw him another retreat. Hey guys, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and today we're going to do some woe training. This is going to be our very first step. Well, let me take that back. So it'll be our second step in woe training. We teach everything with positive reinforcement. If you've watched our positive pigeon videos, you've seen how we introduce the woe behavior. But today we're gonna to start the first step of formal woe training, which is going to involve collar conditioning. So I've got two e-collars. I have one here on Legend's neck. Everybody's probably seen Legend on the social medias. He's our new upcoming little boy, and he's been pretty impressive. He is ready. Come on. He is ready for his woe training now, and we're going to start that today. First thing we need to do is fit him with a belly collar. We're going to put this... The other video that we did was with... Um, rogue and she's a little female and people ask how you do this with little boys so i'm going to show you we'll put the belly collar around his waist now like horses anybody that's working with horses dogs often puff out um, but basically he's going to take on some air in his abdomen because he feels this pressure is a little bit uncomfortable so we're going to have to check this in a minute but you want to fit this to his belly the same as you would to his neck now we're going to check and make sure that his manhood isn't tucked up out of the way and then we're going to give him a little bit of time to get used to this. I've got him on leash here. We'll start walking. You can see he seems a little bit unsure. His movement is a little bit awkward just because this is new and different. Now, in our previous videos and most of the time, we're going to utilize um, pigeons as a way to get the dog comfortable running around with the belly collar. But... I know that not everybody has pigeons, and this would be another way that we can do it. We're actually just play fetch with Legend. I'm going to throw the bumper. We're going to do a couple of retrieves, get him running, moving, and feeling more comfortable with that new pressure. Ready? Good. Okay. You can see he's already starting to get more comfortable. He's a little hesitant to begin with. Good. Good job. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. We're going to do a couple more here. Okay. Not asking for a lot, just to start to get comfortable with that. Now I'm running vibrate on his neck collar during this process, just to help build consistent recall. Ah, now stop. Good. Good. You can see he's moving a lot better now. Come on, buddy. Good. We're also going to utilize this bumper to help keep him moving during this woe training process. It's going to happen pretty quickly that he's going to feel comfortable standing still because that's what we're trying to teach him to do. But in order to make sure that he fully understands how to stop with the e-collar and that that means woe, we need him to start moving again. But now that we've got him comfortable, I want to show this here real quick. I talked about him puffing out a little bit. You can see I can put my whole hand inside this now, which means that we need to cinch it down just a couple more holes. Good. So now I think we've got a good fit. I'm gonna do one more retrieve so that he can run and feel that with um, it being just a little bit tighter now. Good. And we're going to demo, whoop, whoa, whoa. Like I said before, we teach everything with positive reinforcement and he has a good understanding of what woe means, but he does not, he's not collar conditioned, nor can I ask him to stand there for any extended period of time. Just for a few seconds, and then we go ahead and throw a bumper. Now, the first step that we have him comfortable with the collar, we're going to move into applying pressure on his belly. Now we're gonna start this on a one, and I'm gonna use continuous pressure. The stimulation on his belly is going to contract those muscles in his abdomen area, which is going to make him arch this way, just a smidgen, and it's going to feel more comfortable for him to stand still 
than to continue moving. So when we apply continuous stimulation on the lowest level, we will, he should naturally want to just stop and stand there. We'll have to find which level works for him, but that will be the process. Continuous on a one, if he's ignoring that, we'll go to two, three, so on until we find the level that works for him. Most dogs, it's a pretty low level. Good. So while he's moving around, we're going to use continuous. I'm running continuous on a one right now. And you can see he's not showing any signs of feeling that. Good. Now we're going to switch to a two. Now you can see just a little bit of a he paused for a second. He's paying more attention to that. He's definitely feeling the two, but it's not quite the right level. Let's go to three. Good. Uh, 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 uh. Now you can see that start to happen. He's wanting to stand still. He stopped. I let go of stimulation. He started moving again. I applied stimulation again, just continue stimulation on his belly and he stopped. Okay, we're gonna get him moving again. And we're going to stay on that level three. Applying collar now. As soon as he stops, good. Collar shuts off. Now he's going to be able to learn through a few more reps like this that when he feels that pressure, as soon as he stops, the, the collar pressure or stimulation goes away. Okay? Pressure's on and stop. Good. Good boy. Okay, we're going to do another one here. Collar pressure's on. Good. I'm going to take this off to give you a little more of the hands up, hands down thing. Good. Okay. Now you can see, he's already figured out, all I have to do is stand here. You know, we are three or four reps in with pressure, and he's already got it. All I need to do is stand here. And that's what I said before, that it's going to be really easy for him to stand, and he's going to figure that out quickly and we need to keep him moving, okay? So we can incorporate a retrieve in the middle of this. Had a boy vibrate on his neck collar. This is the importance of having a collar that allows you to switch back and forth and can utilize two collars on the same transmitter. Good, again, we're gonna stop him. I've got that continuous on a level three. Okay, come on. Now, good. As soon as he stopped moving, collar pressure shut off. Now this is going to be our very first step, okay? With dogs in training, the first day or the first session, all I want them to do is figure out how to stop to the collar. The next thing that we'll be doing is introducing a cue and then teaching him how to avoid the collar altogether by complying to the cue the first time. So, good, I think we're about done with his first session. Collar's on, good. Good boy. And we can walk around him. Anytime he moves, we're gonna tap that collar again just to remind him to stand still. Good. Then we're gonna release him. Okay, throw him another retreat. You wanna keep this session fun. Some of these more advanced uh, training processes are not all that fun or exciting. And we've gotta be able to keep the sessions short and incorporate some fun stuff in the middle of it. No more, no. One more rep, and then I think we're going to give him a couple of retrieves and call this. Okay, come on. Collar's on. Good. I want you to move a little more. Okay. Collar's on. And on. Good job. Ready? Okay. As you see, folks, the belly collar method is a very effective, very quick way to teach collar conditioning to woe. Again, their next step will be to introduce the cue and then to teach him to avoid the cue or to avoid the stimulation altogether by complying the first time we ask him to woe. Good, here. So this is our first session, guys. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll be doing his next sessions here over the next couple days and we'll have that up as well.